Hey guys, so I wasn't really able to film an introduction to this video being that I was on my way to the Billboard Hot 100 Music Festival and I was kind of in a rush, but I was able to film the makeup that I wore that day. It was a very natural eye in my opinion and also a very natural face. If you guys want to figure out how I achieved this look, please continue watching. So before I did start filming my video, I did prime my eyes with the Urban Decay Eye Primer and I also applied this white shade to my eyelids. Now I'm taking a fluffy blending brush and applying the color Raw Sienna to my crease. In order to make my look a little bit more bold, I am taking a smaller blending brush and the color Venetian Red and applying it to my crease and winging it out just a tiny little bit. I recently updated my lights. So I think that the quality of my video is a little bit better now. If you guys think so, please tell me. If not, I will continue to change the lights until I get it right. Now I'm taking Buon Fresco and I'm applying it right above my crease to where I applied the darker shade in order to blend it out just a little bit. Taking my precision brush and the color Venetian Red once again, I am going to be applying a more precise line to where I winged out the eyeshadow. Now I am going in with my C-shaped brush and I'm going to be applying the color Tempera to my eyelid. This will brighten up the look a little along with cleaning up any excess of the powder that fell onto my lid. Now I'm taking Born to Glow, which is a liquid illuminator by NYX, and I actually got this in my Ipsy. I'm applying it to my hands, and then I'm just going to be applying it to my eyelid, mostly as a base for the eyeshadow that I'm going to be using on top of it. Using the opposite side of my C-shaped brush, I'm going in with the e.l.f. Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadow, which is a gold shimmery shade, and I'm going to be applying it right on top of the illuminator. Now I'm going in with my Milani liquid eyeliner and I'm going to be creating a cat's eye.
Now I'm taking the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara and I'm going to be applying it to my lashes right before I apply my falsies. Going in with my Eyelore Lashes, which have literally been one of my favorites, and my Dulu, I'm going to apply them with the applicator. Going back in with the same mascara, I'm just going to be blending together my lashes with the falsies. And as you can see, I poked myself in the eye. And just to let you guys know, the glue did dry. My eyes were not white all night. But now, I'm taking the Marc Jacob Black Eyeliner, which is another one of my favorites, and just applying it to my waterline. I'm now going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Light Ivory and I'm just applying it under my eyes. just want to cover up those dark circles. Um, I didn't really want to go heavy on the face makeup being that I knew I was going to sweat and I didn't want my makeup to just move and just bleh, be all disgusting. So I just really did the concealer and now I'm just blending it out with my Real Technique Beauty Blender. If you guys haven't noticed by the tattoo on my back, I am actually extremely obsessed with elephants. Anything elephant shaped or figured, anything at all, pictures, cups, anything. I am just literally obsessed. Now going in with my e.l.f. angled brush and my contour kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills, I am actually taking the medium shade and just bronzing up my face a little. Even though I did not apply foundation, I still wanted my face to be a bit bronzed. I don't always set my face with the um, powders from this kit. I'm not a huge fan of them sometimes, but this time I did. It was just a little bit. I didn't really have to set much. So I was taking the lighter shade and I'm using my e.l.f. blush brush and just applying it to where I usually put highlight and where I applied my concealer so that I do not get creases. Now I am taking my eyebrow pencil from Absolute New York and I'm just going to be filling in my eyebrows. I'm not a huge fan of this one either but I recently ran out of my Maybelline one. The only thing that I really do like about this one is that it has a spoolie on the end.
I am spraying down my e.l.f. blush brush with my Gerard setting spray being that I'm going to be using an NYX baked blush in the color floor play. These products do tend to work better when the brush is a little bit damp, it kind of picks it up more. Just really, I don't know, it was my first time using it I really did like the product. I like the pinkness to it um, and it had a nice little shimmer to it. And now going in with the Carly Bible palette and that same brush, I am taking the lighter shade and I'm just going to be highlighting my face, my cheeks, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, in order to give me a nice little glow. For lips, I'm taking an NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Ibiza. Lastly, I'm taking my Gerard Setting Spray and I'm just going to be spraying down my face. And that's it for my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys liked it. Please like, subscribe. And someone actually kind of requested a Q&A with my boyfriend. So if you guys are interested, please comment down below. Tell me what you guys want to see. Thank you so much for watching.